I'm a creep What are you doing here? You're getting a guitar lesson, a great guitar lesson, sung by Radiohead, Creep, written in 1992, you probably heard it for the first time in 1993. Let's run through the chords, very basic. This is also a bar chord lesson by the way, because you're going to be using four chords through the whole song and they're all coming from one shape. We call this an E shape. If you've ever picked up any guitar intuition kind of, uh, tuition kind of book, you'll see that this chord is probably the first chord that you'll see. We call it the E shape, you can also play it like this. In our case, we're going to use it like this because we're going to add the first finger and this is what makes it a bar chord. So, move this E chord from the E to the F, to the F sharp, to the G. This is the G note as well on top. It's good for you to know the notes on top of your guitar. Alright, there we go. First chord G, second chord move it up to a B, third chord one up, to a C, and then for the fourth chord, we lift the middle finger up there so that we get a C minor chord. Also, notice that these chords are all major chords, and if you lift this finger up, the same chords become minor chords. So, this would be a G major, A major, B major, C major, and this would be a G minor, A minor, B minor, C minor. Now that you know the differences between majors and minors, Let's put it to the test. G major, B major, C major, and C minor. Now you're going to be using these four chords through the song, and there's a little bit of a twist that I'll show you a little bit later, but let's get into the rhythm side. Let's look at the right hand for now, and let's see if we can try and get a distinct pattern for the right hand for the song. Now there are more than one way to play the song. I'm going to show you the easy way first, and then maybe a bit more something special. Who knows? Okay, so very basic on the right hand side, it works something like this. So it's one, two, three, four. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Try and work this. And also play maybe just the top note the first two times you play down. It gives you, it gives you that a little bit of a bit of feel for playing all the notes at the same time. So I play selectively. And remember when playing rhythm guitar like this on an acoustic guitar, the most important thing is the down up. You don't get out of this rhythm, you stay in this rhythm all the time. That's why we call it rhythm guitar. So you're in this rhythm all the time. No matter what you do, you have to move your hand like mine. The moment you stop, or you play faster or slower, you're going to mess it up. So try and stay consistent and then you just basically choose when you want to play and when not. When you want to play down, when you're going down, or whether you not want to play that down strike. Okay, so here we go. It's And now for the C minor chord, I would do the same thing, same chords, but now hit it a bit, a little bit louder and play a whole guitar, all the strings. So, I'm a creep and attack a bit more. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I don't four chords, let's make it a little bit more interesting. If you've been playing guitar for a little while, what you could try is you could try to pick maybe the verse. So uh, just to make it a bit more interesting, give it a bit more dynamic so that you can build towards the chorus. And this is what I would do if I was you. So it's basically picking the same chords. 
uh, let's look at the pattern for the right hand. I'm going to spend some time on the right hand now. I'm going to stay on the one chord for now. It's basically... I'll do that again slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one up again, and to the minor one a change, and you basically follow the same pattern. If you want to make it a bit more interesting than that, you can add a chord uh, that we call sus4. So basically, the first chord you'll do exactly the same. But for the second chord, this is quite tight, it's quite hard, so try and, it's also basically a finger exercise, try to put this pinky of yours down like that, so that it covers both these strings, the third and the fourth string, both of these strings. So you're changing this note from there, one forward to there, by changing that note over there. So check this out. Da -da 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 -da, da -da -da -da. That's the effect, and again with the C. And then you go to the minor. So it's just an addition to what we've already done. Now you can also use that when picking it, like we've done Nana. So you'll be doing this. Remember, I'm even getting a cramp in my hand. So, if you get it, it's normal. Be motivated. Maybe buy yourself an electric guitar and you'll find that it's easier on the right hand. If you're playing an acoustic, even though it might be a good acoustic, you'll, uh, you'll still get that crampy feeling on your thumb. Guys, I think that's it for today. Uh, Hope you had a wonderful time and remember if you want to get more into the chords and the bar chords go check out our lesson guitarpond.com on the bar chords. I explained the whole thing for you and uh, you'll learn a lot. Also go check out the right hand patterns that we have. We have a lesson just on the right hand patterns so that you don't have to wonder anymore. You can go to that lesson and you can learn and experience more and more songs and work up your experience and build and get more comfortable. See you guys next time. Enjoy.